from the French perspective, I can speak about the French perspective, I think we have to uh, change our way of thinking about law. We continue in France, in our vast majority, to think that we have to systematize the law. We have to prevail a dogmatic approach to law, which was not dominant, we don't know that, which was not dominant, which was under pressure 100 years ago, with what I could call uh, the French and broadly the European legal realism move. We have forgotten this mood and this movement at that time. They tried at that time to open the mind, to open the doors of legal thinking and of legal education. And I think that one aim of legal education in France now and in Europe mainly is to make a bridge, to make a new bridge between what had happened at that time and now in order to break down this dogmatic, very systematic way of thinking and the systematic way of, of teaching law as a whole system. That's, in my view, a, part, a very important part of the project we have at Sciences Po Law School example. The other one is to be able to create some global lawyers, but not only practicing global lawyers, but people able to think globally. And I agreed with Daniel on the, 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 on the panel when he said that Globalization is very important, not for marketing reasons, I totally agree with that, but to free the way we teach, to open the mind of our students, which is related to the first part of what I say to you. We have to create bridges with the past, and this kind of criticism on a very doctrinal analysis which is not very interesting, which is very boring in terms of legal education. We have to break down this way of thinking and globalization is a part of the project. I, as always, I realize that there are a lot of people all over the world that who think who are on the same line. We have the same questions. We, there is a trend, there is a real movement of a lot of people all around the world in different institutions who think about, who think the same thing about legal education. Even if they don't have the same answers, but they I think that they have the same questions about what it has take with globalization, what is how we need to teach to our students, is lectures, Socratic methods, what are the question of uh, legal problem solving courses, and a lot of questions like that. We, we share the theme, and I was very interested in one question we didn't answer, the question asked by Duncan about the question of power, what is at stake in terms of power, but we didn't have enough time, but I hope that in March we will speak about this very important question.